Despite its impressive length, it's a nimble navigator, and some can be highly venomous. Even tarantulas aren't immune from an ambush. This centipede is a predator. Yo, Snapchat. So I'm running for the federal election, the Australian election, um, under the science party in the Cunningham, Cunningham electorate, which is like Wollongong, Illawarra. So some of these future stories might be about that, because what I want to do is actually growth hack the election, uh, work out how to hack it, garner attention, so that people actually, you know, vote away from the two-party system. Because like I've mentioned before, minor parties never get anywhere, so you always end up in this two-party system. Um, which, and, and those parties are pretty much identical, that's why they're always roughly around 50% each. The thing is the minor parties, like the science party, have really, really awesome, well thought out, rational, evidence-based policies, but no one gives a fuck, because no one's going to read them if they don't have the attention and the eyeballs on it. I think part of the problem is that the minor parties play the exact same game. They play the same political campaigns, you know, they'll put their face on a poster, they'll go hand out flyers on the street, they'll go to town hall meetings, all that crap. But why play that game when we have the fucking internet, and we have like, everyone has a smartphone, and there's shitloads of dank memes out there, um, and there's all these like, channels so you can get to people and ask them what they want. So if you had no clue what the point of that intro song was, um, Donald Trump, man, I feel like as much as he's a massive douchebag, he has changed the political landscape forever and how people run campaigns. So if you're a Redditor, go onto like reddit.com slash r slash the underscore Donald and you'll see all these memes that these, these communities making about Donald Trump. I mean, shit, man, there was a poll recently saying that Donald Trump uh, for registered voters is, is ranking above Hillary Clinton right now. That's insane. What the fuck has happened? He's actually spent less money on his campaign overall, but attracted more attention than all the other candidates combined, times about two or three. He just gets free attention. So I wonder what lessons people will learn from that. People will probably analyze his campaign for the next decade, um, especially if he becomes president. But what's he done? Like, surely people aren't latching onto the ideas and the policies. Like, do his supporters really want to build a wall between Mexico and the US? Uh, maybe some of them, but probably not all of them. I think they're more interested in the personality and the kind of down-to-earth, like, fuck typical politics especially when Hillary Clinton is such a robot. So I think here's what you need to do, particularly in a local election. First, you need to get attention. You need to get people like laughing and being interested in resharing shit that's not typical politics. I mean, part of the reason why people think politics is a joke and they don't get involved with it is because they feel like their vote doesn't count. Um, and there's no engagement. I mean, you vote once every four years and that's all you get. That's the only say. And then I think people feel that like voting for a minor party is throwing away their vote because they know that the minor parties aren't going to get anywhere. But do they have to? Like, why can't a minor party get somewhere if we just get enough attention? I mean, like, what the fuck's happened with Trump? Trump was an outsider. He's not a politician. He's come through the ranks and he's basically, like, overtaken the Republican Party as my <laughs> to their dismay and hatred of that. Now, in my electorate, the Labour Party has actually held power here for 65 out of the last 67 years. That's a weird, like, monarchist type dynasty thing. Power. So what I want to do is have fun with this. I don't want to be the serious, like, must protect my reputation and be very, like, you know, say the right things at the right time and not be too uh, controversial. If you're a natural racist and a bigot like Trump, it's much easier to do that. But <laughs> all I've got to go off is like cool future ideas and just like dank memes and cool like stuff. But I definitely want to get a make Wollongong great again hat because I think that'd just be hilarious. <laughs> and do almost all day uh, Facebook live streams so anyone can come in and ask a question. I also kind of want to do like daily vlogs, like Casey Neistat does the most epic vlogs. Uh, I need a drone if anyone has one. I think it'd be cool for people to pump out local memes as well. So Chico's, we, actually last night one of my mates made this uh, a Chico's gong sat on top of like Mount Kira and there's this idea that you could like gong it every time Chico's is open. I think I want to make a Facebook Messenger chatbot as well where anyone can talk to it so I can kind of like just get people's ideas and thoughts um, in a kind of funny way um, as well as like share the policies of Science Party and also identify all the influences in a region. I mean, the old school thing would be to go around to all the business owners and kind of like, you know, chummy up with them and uh, get them on board and get them, you know, endorsing you. I actually think the major influences of a local region are all online. They're the Facebook group owners. They're the people whose content gets shared the most throughout social media. So what I'm looking for is growth hacks like that. What I'm actually gonna do is use the Facebook Graph API to scrape every single Facebook group, identify all the admin owners and groups and the influences in there and interview them and talk. I swear this isn't mine. Actually, there's a previous video of me posing with this. <laughs> no one's moved it yet. Something I'd love to do, I'm not sure how you pull it off, is uh, just opening up direct line of communication with every single, that, every single person in the entire electorate. So imagine like instant Snapchat feeds and uh, messaging. I mean, the whole point of politicians is they're meant to be conduits for what the people want and for what the people are having issues with and their concerns. They're not meant to have any biases whatsoever. 
So wouldn't it be epic if I could just be like, hey, all of Cunningham, this entire electorate, what issues do you have? And then suddenly every single person just replies back and you aggregate that and you kind of mine that data. And even on like a policy by policy thing, imagine if you're like, hey, here's this policy I'm going to vote on today. What do you guys think? And just everyone just replies back and you kind of work out exactly what people think of the idea. And then you can do like 24 seven live streams. Like imagine if you just had uh, augmented reality glasses, almost like that Google Glass thing, uh, where everyone can watch every meeting you're in and everything you're doing and go along with the whole process. Like we all know in politics, it's a game. There's all these like backroom doors and you know, handshakes and you know, I'll help you if you help me. But I think people realize this. I think they'd love to see the whole process. And that's cool, yeah, because you can't get your way in politics every single time. But say if the voters come to you with an issue and then you go and solve it, they can actually come along with the entire process, see all the meetings and see how it works and whether it does or not. I mean, I think it's weird now that we don't force our politicians to stream 24-7 data to the internet, like video feeds. Um, if they're not streaming, what are they doing? How can you trust them? You know, they should be streaming every board meeting, every meeting. And so that's what I'd do if I got in. I'd, I'd stream 24-7 data. I think the only exceptions would be if you're having a wank, if you're going to the toilet, if you're having sex, or if you're having a DNM with your significant other or something. So anyway, I've been renting too long. Um, give me ideas, like what, what do you think? How can I do this? So I think you kind of need like attention, then engagement, then communication, then we can discuss policies, then you get votes. So snap your thoughts to at future. I was actually gonna set up a separate Snapchat account, but someone has my username, damn it. Um, yeah, catch up, have a good day.